Hey everyone, welcome to the show. So yesterday I shared the arrest video for Taylor Taranto and it showed that he had finally been charged for his actions at the Capitol on January 6th. Well, the authorities have now filed new documents with the court that reveal details about his other arrest. Um, the arrest for his, I guess you could say, stalking of Barack Obama and his family um, and some other people, as it turns out, he was arrested near the home of the address believed to be Barack Obama's. Um, the filing says that when Toronto was arrested, he had two guns, 400 rounds of ammunition, and a machete in his van. And evidently, Toronto originally went to D.C. in hopes of viewing the January 6 videos. So Toronto shared an audio recording on social media of a call that he placed to McCarthy's office trying to obtain the footage. He was speaking with one of McCarthy's staffers, supposedly. Well, one day prior to Toronto's arrest, he was live streaming on YouTube and he was talking about McCarthy. Toronto allegedly said, quote, coming at you, McCarthy, can't stop what's coming. Nothing can stop what's coming. So the authorities admit they don't know exactly what Toronto's statement to McCarthy meant, but Toronto also said that he planned to blow up his vehicle, said this in this video, he wanted to blow up his vehicle at the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Why I don't know why that building in particular, but he claimed that he had a detonator and he said that he was on a quote, one-way mission. Then Toronto also said that his vehicle had self-driving capabilities, so he wouldn't need to be in the car or near the car when it exploded. Um, luckily, as I mentioned before, the FBI had been monitoring his social media. So when they saw that video, they issued an alert. They told law enforcement, you need to step it up. You need to really be on the lookout for this guy. So the next day, which was June 29th, the FBI finally at that point issued an arrest warrant for Toronto for his participation in the Capitol attack. That same day, as I had shared previously, Toronto reposted a post from Donald Trump showing the supposed address for former President Barack Obama. Again, Donald Trump trying to get people to attack Barack Obama. I mean, that's what it seems like. Um, and then Toronto wrote along with that post, quote, we got these losers surrounded. See you in hell, Podestas and Obamas. So he live streamed again that day. And in the video, Toronto narrated as he was driving to and walking through the D.C. neighborhood where the Obamas supposedly reside. He was telling viewers as he's walking around that he was looking for quote entrance points and then he was pointing his camera towards storm drains and then he said quote so if you go down there there's obviously tunnels down there i don't know how close they'll get you in terms of access he also said quote we're gonna find a way to the tunnels underneath their houses and quote we're looking for tunnel access so we can get the interview in case they try to weasel their way out. No in or out now. See, First Amendment, just say First Amendment, free speech, free, it's free. Uh, but then Toronto also said, quote, gotta get the shot. Stop at nothing to get the shot. This is where other people come to get the shot. Then he added, quote, we're going to see what we can get as a shot. If I were them, I'd be watching this, watching my every move. And then Toronto said, quote, more than likely, these guys also all hang for treason. See how I said that? You got to be very safe and careful. Someone warned me. So perfect example of why I'm against that supreme court decision the other day because that sounded like a threat right but he tried to couch it in terms of oh you know they might be hung for treason oh it's likely they're going to be he didn't specifically say he's going to so this neighborhood is apparently a restricted area 
It's monitored by the Secret Service. I would assume there's a lot of high profile people living there. So that's how they spotted him. So they chased him down or they tried to approach him and he took off running into an area of the woods and then they chased him down and got him. This latest document also provided more details about what Toronto did and said after the Capitol attack. So he apparently reshared a video on February 20th of this year. It was a video that he took on January 6th while he was inside the Capitol. And Toronto wrote, quote, still waiting for this show to get on the road. Where's Merrick? And quote, look, mom, I'm an insurrectionist now and on TV. It also says that during a June 17th, 2023 interview, so just recently, Toronto was repeating false stories, total conspiracy theories about Ashley Babbitt's shooting, saying that it was a hoax, that everyone around her was an actor. It was not a hoax. They were not actors. Google gods, don't freak out. Yes, he's lying. He's making it up or he's truly delusional and he believes this. Of course, he's a QAnon follower. And in addition to the threats against Obama and Podesta, Toronto also made threatening remarks towards Democratic Congressman Jamie Raskin. In another live stream that he filmed near Raskin's home, Toronto said that he was targeting him because, quote, he's one of the guys that hates January 6 people or more like Trump supporters. And it's kind of like sending a shockwave through him because I did nothing wrong. And he's probably freaking out and saying shit like, well, he's stalking me. I didn't tell anyone where he lives because I want him all to myself. What's really interesting is he's apparently, he's been banned from hanging out with other MAGA supporters near the DC jail. They said because of his erratic behavior, alleged erratic behavior, and his alleged offensive statements when he's been around them, they told him, you're not, you're not welcome. You need to go. So the magistrate judge who's overseeing the initial portion of the January 6th charges, that judge wants to hold Toronto until his trial for obvious reasons. But he noted in court during a hearing, he said, look, you guys have only charged him with misdemeanors. And at this point, I can't hold him. I legally can't hold him unless you charge him with a felony or unless I believe that he's a flight risk. And the judge said, I don't believe he's a flight risk, but I do believe he's a danger to the community. Um, so he's gonna be making a final ruling today. He may have already done so by the time I post this video, but it's not really clear how the other charges factor into this and if another judge presiding over that weapons case and you know making these threats and whatever else they they end up charging him with i don't know if that judge has reviewed this issued yet and issued a ruling on holding him but clearly something going on here this guy is a danger i mean it seems very obvious from his statements it sounds like he is after quite a few people. And, you know, again, we have Donald Trump to thank for putting Obama's alleged address out onto the internet. I mean, I, I don't know what it's gonna take. I don't know what it's gonna take for a judge to finally grow a pair of ovaries and put Donald Trump in prison and say, you're gonna sit here until your trials, trials with an S, um, because you are a danger to the community. So anyway, guys, um, I will let you know. I'll keep you posted on all of this. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like this video, share it, become a subscriber, become a donor if you can, um, even if it's one time. But if you can become a monthly donor, that truly helps to keep the, go the show going long term. So really appreciate all of you. Love you guys. Take care and I'll talk with you soon.